Greetings, Earthlings, and uh, welcome. This is not a big glasses chat. This is not, I don't know what it is, but I just wanted to, maybe it's a big glasses chat. Let's just say that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, first off, I wanted to just point out that this, this is why I dye my hair. Because it starts to look like this after the summer is done, where there's like little bits of red left, but then you've got like the darker underneath and it just like it's just it looks and it doesn't like have a good shine to it because it's just my natural hair it just doesn't but hair dyed hair absolutely so it's like it's it elevates your hair it, for a little bit my hair looks really good so I'm thinking about dyeing it ew <laughs> anyways I am doing some research on this short story that I read in middle school it's, it's a Hail Mary at this point because I'm really struggling to find anything. But what it was was this futuristic society where one day this, this, um, this box appears and you could go into it and it would immediately eliminate all of your like excess body fat and make you really nice and thin again. But it would leave a mark on you. And it was really helpful for people in this town. They would, they would eat all that they wanted to and then they would just go in and they would have the machine remove the body fat. But after a while, you would start having these marks all over you from every time that you went into the machine. And the reason that I wanted to find this is because at this point, the Azempic stuff is really starting to sound like that. And I don't know what drawbacks are going to surface at some point. Um, there's a lot of science that they do in order to make Ozempic work. Essentially, they um, they actually add, they alter the the protein or the chemical, whatever it is, the the um, enzyme that your body produces normally to tell you that you're full. But when you're when you're obese, your body's production of that is faulty, and so they have in, they inject it. But the issue is that. <laughs> that it deteriorates very quickly like the body basically absorbs it essentially there's an, another enzyme that comes and it, it breaks it down really quickly so they altered that enzyme to make it not break down so quickly and <laughs> what that tells me is that eventually it's there's going to be something there's going to be something and we're just not we haven't caught up to it yet it hasn't been lined up but the short story it just sounds so like it it sounds so much like it it's like there's nothing that you can just do where it just like sh shit sloughs off all of the excess without there being some kind of drawback i don't know but <laughs> i did some research i ask the ai i ask ai for pretty much everything at this point because at some point it will have correct answers and i'm gonna i'm gonna be around for that um ai is absolutely fascinating to me and i'm thinking about like babblefish like uh, translations and stuff live translations eventually i'll be able to watch a video in another language and ai will translate it as it's being said in a in the voice that sounds like that person it's gonna happen so i'm really excited about ai but ai led me to a guy named david brin who wrote short stories like science fiction short stories and it could be but i can't find the specific story that AI it mentioned, it said siphoners, and there's just no mention of that that I could find online. So I am still trying to figure it out. But if you know, that would be extremely helpful. But you probably won't unless you went to my middle school. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but it was around early 2000s when I was in middle school. So that was... I mean, the textbook would have been much older, but, well, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm working on. That's what I'm thinking about right now. I did just, just get back from um, a six-hour drive back home. I, I was out for work, and that was fun. I got to go just really far away from where I've normally been, um, just way, way out of the way. It's just like there was I, – I, I don't drink, and I've just celebrated my three years sobriety, uh, but I was like, I just always noticed that like, cause I, I drink non-alcoholic beverages and I really like those. And so I looked for those and I couldn't find any, um, there, I couldn't find any alcohol in the town. <laughs> I don't know what that meant. I didn't ask anybody. 
Uh, I didn't like look for liquor stores, but it was really weird. There's, there wasn't any alcohol like noticeable at any of the stores that I went to. So that was strange, but that is, that's done. I'm exhausted from that drive and I have work tomorrow that I have to do. So yeah, lots of conference calls, uh, job, job, job. <laughs> so that is what is happening with me right now. I am so exhausted. So I think that that's it for this, this video. I think that, uh, I think that I'm, I'm going to just not talk for a while. <laughs> All right. Bye.